Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And I was kind of struggling, trying to come up with a video idea. And I decided, hey, let's go look at all of the comments and questions that you guys post where in the comments below the video to see if I can come up with a good idea for a video. Stay tuned to see what I found. If you find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam and this guy. All right, couldn't come up with a good idea for a video, but then, boom, all right, I had an idea. I was like, oh, people always ask us great questions and post comments. And we try to go through and respond. It can be challenging because there's lots of them. So I decided, I'm gonna start looking through these when I need a great video idea. And so that's what I did. I sorted them, put the newest ones on top, and I looked, looked, and was like, boom. This is one that I can make a video out of. And let me show you what the question was. Five Minute Foodie had an issue trying to find the lowest value and then highlighting that value on an animated bar chart. And there's the DAX that he provided. And I was like, oh man, I've done some things like this before, but never kind of combining all of it into one video. So I decided let's do a video and I'm gonna show you, you, and Five Minute Foodie, how to solve this. I hope Five Minute Foodie is watching, all right? So you guys know how I like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. So the first thing I did was I kind of set it up. So he said, I want to look at a particular value in a year. So I got my year here as a filter, and then I'm going to look at a particular value in each month. I'm going to put it in a bar chart. And what I want to do is I want to highlight that value, but I want to do some testing first. So the first thing I need to do is write a DAC statement that's going to identify the lowest value. So let's sort this so we can see the lowest value. So July should be sorted. If I choose 2018, then June should be highlighted and on and so forth. I wrote some DAX here and you can see I did a calculate statement with a summarize of that value. And then I'm using the min X to give me the minimum from that list. And then I'm capturing the current sales. Then I do a comparison. I say, hey, if the min is equal to the current sales, make it red. Otherwise, make it a blue. It's like a guy in cute blue, All right? And I have it on the table right now just to test. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over here. Hmm, it's not working. Everything's red. And I did a little debugging of this and I realized that I forgot something that's kind of important, all selected. If you don't understand all selected, the guys over at SQL BI, they have a great article and I put a link to the article in the description below. Take a look at that article. I'm not gonna try to go through and explain it fully because they do a very good job. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all selected. And then what you'll see is now everything is changing. And when that value matches the minimum, it makes it red. Otherwise it maintains the color. This is exactly what I want. So what I'm going to do is switch this over to a stack column chart and I want to get this back sorted by month and make sure it is descending. So January, February. And as I choose, right, I'm looking for the lowest point. I want that point to be red. I want this point to be red. And so what I'm going to do is make sure I select that stack column chart, go over to format, go to data colors, and then use conditional formatting. Change this to field value, do a quick search for lowest value. Click OK. Boom. So now as I select each one, and I've done this before in videos, but this, that's not what intrigued me. What intrigued me about the question was, he said, an animated bar chart. And I was like, ooh, animated. So it'll highlight the lowest one as it plays. I was like, oh, that's so exciting. So let me show you how I did that. There's no native visual that'll make it play unless I use a scatter or something like that. But I'm going to use a custom visual to get more visuals here. And I'm going to go to play because I know there is a play axis certified visual. I'm going to go ahead and get that visual. It's been imported. Great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert my slicer to this play axis. There we go. And then if you go take a look at the format properties, there's lots of them for animated settings. You can make it loop and you can tell it how often the loop, but you can also change the colors. And so I can have different colors for each thing, which is cool. I'm going to go ahead and press play. And now what you'll see, hmm, nothing's changing. That is because of the way the interaction is set up by default in Power BI. And so we just need to quickly go and edit the interaction. And I think we can fix the problem. We're going to stop this and then we're going to go to format. Make sure you have the play axis selected. Choose edit interactions. You'll see these icons appear. Make sure you choose the filter, not the highlight, and then go ahead and press play. So now when you press play, you'll see how that red bar is moving, highlighting the one that's the minimum value. Five Minute Foodie, I hope this answered your question. If not, you know what to do. Post a follow up where? In the comments below. All right, what do you guys think? Have you run into anything like this before? Are you trying to animate bar charts? Got to make sure that you set that to filter and not highlight because it's just going to adjust how much of that particular item is selected. All right, so any questions, any comments, you know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? 
in the comments below. If you're your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.